striking, out of play. He doesn't want any more points. Ireland have won. 29 points to 23. Ireland continued this remarkable sequence of victories over Wales on the Welsh home game. Ireland haven't lost away to Wales since 1983. And today it looked as if they were going to add to the record scoring. But Wales came back at them and narrowed the gap just to three points after Ireland had led at one stage in the second half when Humphreys got the first of his two drop goals by 26 points to six. But then Wales came back with tries by Craig Quinnell and fullback Shane Howard to narrow the gap to just three points. And then David Humphreys, the man of the match, got a second drop goal and Ireland held on to that six points lead to the finish. 29, 20 point, 23. What a day for Ireland, Tony Ward. Talk about mixed emotions all the way through that game. There's a very happy Warren Gatland and he fully deserves that first ever win. May he enjoy every moment of it and hope Ireland can take off from here. It all came with a little bit of luck in the first half when the bounce came Ireland's way, but from there they really did take off. A very good first half. They dropped it in the second, but came good when it mattered most in the end. And it has to be said at the end of the day, a fully deserved win for Ireland by six points. Well, Paddy Johns, the Irish captain, back on the field to congratulate his men. And you'd think that Ireland had won the World Cup because those players who waited so long for a win in the championship are thrilled that they've shown the strength of character. And Keith Wood, who played so exceptionally well and rounded it off with a great try, is hailed by the Irish supporters here at Wembley. Keith Wood wasn't man of the match. David Humphreys deserved it. But Keith Wood was very close. A great day for Irish rugby. They've got the win they really wanted. And David Humphreys, man of the match, here he is, who got three penalty goals, two conversions, and two drop goals. Really superb display. And we'll be meeting some of the players when they come off in just a moment as we look at the scenes around the stadium. Wales know that they came close, but after the defeat by Scotland, they realised perhaps that their good performance against South Africa was a false storm. Ireland, very good against South Africa, even better against France when they so narrowly lost that game, and at last getting a win they so thoroughly deserved. Indeed, on the day, perhaps Ireland deserved to win by more than 29-23. But that's the story from a delighted Irish supporters at Wembley. Ireland the winners, 29-23. Warren, a victory in the Five Nations Championship, but I'd say, I dare say, it put about 30 years on you, didn't it? Yeah, it was more of a relief, relief than anything. Um, you know, 26 6 up, I thought we were cruising along quite comfortably, and then a uh, sort of uh, few thoughts went through my mind in the last few minutes. I thought, oh, I know if they're going to get a converted try and we're going to be beaten sort of by a point in the last minute, but we were good enough to hold on at the end of the day. Do you, can you describe the feeling in that dressing room right now? Oh, just, I think, uh, more relieved. I mean, we. We talked in there just for a few minutes about how we felt after France and uh, sort of a complete change around, so boys are fairly happy. I know you probably won't like to single out people, but David Humphreys today, he answered every question that anybody could have asked of him, didn't he? Well, I think that's um, one of the things that he was, I think, unfairly criticised in the, in the first game for his uh, kicking performance. And, uh, you know, today we were pretty happy with his uh, overall game, his general play, his, uh, you know, his general all-round kicking, I thought it was very good. Looking at some of the areas, the back row in particular, the tackling was immense. I mean, were you, did everything go the way you wanted it to go in terms of your tactics? Uh, pretty much so. I, I didn't think that we played as well today as we would played against France. And uh, we probably, um, you know, Wales on the bad side as well. And uh, you know, they came back at us and put us under a lot of pressure. And so, you know, but at the end of it, I was, uh, I thought it, was, it was a victory I think we deserved. With that victory, does it now mean that the Irish team are going to go from strength to strength. Is, is that the victory you've wanted? 
Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, we've been looking for this victory for a while and uh, we targeted France as our first game and the, the two games in particular in the Five Nations were Wales and Scotland. Uh, we felt we could beat those two teams and, uh, you know, we, we've, we feel that uh, we've um, you know, improved in the last 12 months and we're pretty competitive national side. Warren, congratulations. Enjoy your night. Cheers.